Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Sir Nariko, and I'm absolutely thrilled to have you join me today as we dive into the world of Microsoft Excel. Whether you're a complete beginner just opening Excel for the first time, or you've been using it for a while and want to solidify your foundational knowledge, this video is for you. Today, we're going to embark on an essential journey, exploring the fundamental parts that make up the Microsoft Excel interface. Understanding these core components is key to navigating Excel efficiently and unlocking its incredible power. We'll be looking at everything from the mighty ribbon and its tabs, to individual cells and ranges, the formula bar, rows, columns, and so much more. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap of the Excel environment, making your learning experience so much smoother. So, if you're ready to learn Excel and build a strong foundation for your spreadsheet skills, hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorials, and let's jump right in. Excel is a computer program used to create electronic spreadsheets. Within Excel user can organize data, create chart, and perform calculations. Excel is a convenient program because it allows user to create large spreadsheets, reference information, and it allows for better storage of information. Excel operates like other Microsoft, MS, Office programs and has many of the same functions and shortcuts of other MS programs. Here are the advantages of Excel. Data organization and storage. Calculations and analysis. Data visualization. Automation with macros, VBA Visual Basic for applications. Budgeting and financial management. Data management and filtering. Reporting. Accessibility and widespread use. Customization. Integration. Versatility. What you can create in Excel. Tabular data. Lists. Databases. Calculations. Data sorting and FI, Turing. Conditional formatting. What if analysis. Pivot tables. Charts and graphs. Spark lines. Budgeting. Financial modeling. Expense tracking. Invoice and receipt management. Project management. Inventory management. Sales tracking. Reporting. Calendars and schedules. To-do list. Address books. Grade books. Event planning. Macros. Power query. Here's an overview of Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel consists of workbooks. Within each workbook, there is an infinite number of worksheets. Each worksheet contains columns and rows. Where a column and a row intersect is called a cell. 4 e.g. cell D5 is located where column D and row 5 meet. The tabs at the bottom of the screen represent different worksheets within a workbook. You can use the scrolling buttons on the left to bring other worksheets into view. Office button includes the following. New to open new workbook. Control plus N. Open to open existing document. Control plus O. Save to save a document. Control plus S. Save as to save copy document. F12. Print to print a document. Control plus P. Prepare to prepare document for distribution. Send to send a copy of document to other people. Publish to distribute document to other people. Close to close a document. Control plus W. The three parts of the ribbon are tabs, groups, commands, tabs. There are seven tabs across the top of the Excel window. Groups. Groups are sets of related commands displayed on tabs. Commands. A command is a button, a menu, or a box where you enter information. To copy and paste contents. Select the cell or cells you wish to copy. Click the copy command in the clipboard group on the home tab. Select the cell or cells where you want to paste the information. Click the paste command. The copied information will now appear in the new cells. To cut and paste cell contents. Select the cell or cells you wish to cut. Click the cut command in the clipboard group on the home tab. Select the cell or cells where you want to paste the information. Click the paste command. The cut information will be removed and now appear in the new cells. To format text in bold, italics or underline. Left click a cell to select it or drag your cursor over the text in the formula bar to select it. Click the bold, italics or underline command to change the font style. Select the cell or cells you want to format. Left click the drop down arrow next to the font style box on the home tab. Select a font style from the list to change the font size. 
Select the cell or cells you want to format. Left-click the drop-down arrow next to the font size box on the Home tab. Select a font size from the list to add a border. Select the cell or cells you want to format. Click the drop-down arrow next to the Borders command on the Home tab. A menu will appear with border options to change the text color. Select the cell or cells you want to format. Left-click the drop-down arrow next to the text color command. A color palette will appear. Select a color from the palette to add a fill color. Select the cell or cells you want to format. Click the fill command. A color palette will appear. Select a color from the palette to apply conditional formatting. Select the cells you would like to format. Select the Home tab. Locate the Styles group. Click the Conditional Formatting command. A menu will appear with your formatting options to remove conditional formatting. Click the Conditional Formatting command. Select Clear Rules. Choose to clear rules from the entire worksheet or the selected cells to apply new formatting. Click the Conditional Formatting command. Select New Rules from the menu. There are different rules. You can apply these rules to differentiate particular cell to manage conditional formatting. Click the Conditional Formatting command. Select Manage Rules from the menu. The Conditional Formatting Rules Manager dialog box will appear. From here you can edit a rule, delete a rule, or change the order of rules to insert rows. Select the row below where you want the new row to appear. Click the Insert command in the Cells group on the Home tab. The row will appear. To insert columns, select the column to the right of where you want the column to appear. Click the Insert command in the Cells group on the Home tab. The column will appear. Important note, the new row always appears above the selected row. The new column always appears to the left of the selected column. Editing Fill. In the lower right-hand corner of the active cell is Excel's Fill handle, that when you hold your mouse over the top of it, your cursor will turn to a crosshair. If you have just one cell selected, if you click and drag to fill down a column or across a row, IT will copy that number or text to each of the other cells. If you have two cells selected, Excel will fill in a series. It will complete the pattern that, for example, if you put 4 and 8 in two cells select them, click and drag the fill handle, Excel will continue the pattern with 12, 16, 20, etc. Excel can also autofill series of dates, times, days of the week, months, to sort in alphabetical order. Select a cell in the column you want to sort. In this example, we choose a cell in column Q. Click the Sort and Filter command in the Editing group on the Home tab. Select Sort A to Z. Now the information in the Category column is organized in alphabetical order. To sort from smallest to largest, select a cell in the column you want to sort. In this example, we choose a cell in column Q. Click the Sort and Filter command in the Editing group on the Home tab. Select from smallest to largest. Now the information is organized from the smallest to largest amount. A relative cell reference as A1 is based on the relative position of the cell. If the position of the cell that contains the reference changes, the reference itself is changed. In cell C1, some function is used. Then function from cell C1 is copied to cell D3. When the position of the cell is changed from C1 to D3, then the reference is also changed from A1B1 to B3C3. An absolute cell reference as $A$1 always refers to a cell in a specific location. If the position of the cell that contains the formula changes, the absolute reference remains the same. In cell C1, some function is used. Then function from cell C1 is copied to cell D3. When the position of the cell is changed from C1 to D3, then the absolute reference remains the same, A1, B1. Dollar is used for constant row or column. A mixed reference has either an absolute column and relative row or absolute row and relative column. An absolute column reference takes the form 1 Australian dollar, dollar B1. An absolute row reference takes the form 1 Australian dollar, B1. In cell C1, some function is used. Then function from cell C1 is copied to cell D3. When the position of the cell is changed from C1 to D3, then row reference is changed from 1 to 3, 
but column reference remains same, A, B. Date diff function. Start date. Date from which you want to calculate difference. End date. Date up to which you want to calculate difference. Interval. Form in which you want to calculate difference. D days. M months. Y years. Y months over year. MD days over month. Sumif functions. Syntax of Sumif. Equals Sumif. Range. Criteria. Sum underscore range. Range. Range of cells on which conditions are applied. Criteria. Condition that defines which cell or cells will be added. Sum range. Actual cells to sum. Note. If sum range is not used then range is used for sum. If functions. Syntax of if. Equals if. Logical text. Value if true. Value if false. Logical text. Any value or expression that can be evaluated to true or false. Value if true. Value that is returned if logical text is true. Value if false. Value that is returned if logical text is false. Count functions. Syntax of functions. 1. Count. Equals count. Value 1. Value 2. 2. Counter. Equals counter. Value 1. Value 2. 3. Count blank. Equals count blank. Range. 4. Countif. Equals countif. Range. Criteria. Text functions. Syntax of functions. To convert text from capital to small. Lower function. Equals lower. Text. To convert text from small to capital. Upper function. Equals upper. Text. To capitalize each word of text. Proper function. Equals proper. Text. Text functions. Syntax of functions. Left function equals left. Text enumendiscuchas. Right function equals right. Text enumendiscuchas. Mid function equals mid. Text start enumendiscucha. Other functions. Now returns current date and time. Today returns current date only. Mod returns the remainder after a no. Is divided by a divisor. Len returns the no. Of characters in a text string. Sum add all the numbers. Function auditing. Trace precedence. Show arrow that indicate what cells affect the value of the currently selected cell. In this example cells A1 and A3 affect the value of cell C2 and cells A1 and A4 affect the value of cell C6. Trace dependence. Show arrow that indicate what cells are affected by the value of the currently selected cell. In this example cell C2 and C6 are affected by the value of cell A2 and cell C6 is also affected by the cell A4. Here are the shortcut keys of Microsoft Excel. Here are the shortcut keys. Hey everyone. I just wanted to take a moment to express my sincere gratitude to all of you, my amazing viewers. Every like, every comment, every share, and especially every single one of you who subscribes means the absolute world to me. Creating these videos is a passion of mine, and knowing that you're out there watching and learning them makes all the effort worthwhile. Thank you for being such an incredible community and for your continued support. I truly appreciate each and every one of you.